Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to test a horn antenna today. Uh, so we're going to look at a horn antenna and we're going to try to find the resident component and uh, what is the S11 and we will try to find out what is my SWR. So basically this is my horn antenna. Just wanted to show you a picture of this. This is a horn antenna that is connected to my VNA. So that is right here and that is connected to my vna and that is connected to my vna that looks the graph looks something like this so right now uh, i'm interested in seeing how does my s11 looks like and uh, it looks quite so as by just looking at my s11 i can clearly see this antenna definitely definitely not working frequencies which are lower than i don't know five six gigahertz and this support this this antenna is working start working from here onwards and i can see because uh, the vna that i'm using it can only measure up to 8.5 gigahertz and this is what the graph look like s11 graph look like so let me just quickly put a marker there and uh, let me just uh, so as you can clearly see at 4.25 gigahertz uh, this thing is not working and let me just move the marker and and why am I saying it's not working because the rule of thumb is that anything below negative 10 dB is good enough for me right so anything below negative 10 dB is good enough but I'm not seeing any resonance up uh, at, at like at till this point so let me just move my marker and let me go to this dip uh, right here so this dip is at around 6.97 gigahertz and you're getting a dB or return loss of about negative 13 dB or S11 of negative 13 dB. So this antenna start functioning from 6.97 and there could be a reason because in my previous video uh, I talked about what type of a cutoff frequency based on the geometry of my waveguide that determines the A and the B's the width and the length of my rectangular waveguide determines what type of frequency will be uh, will be propagated what mode what will be the cutoff frequency that could be the reason at lower frequencies uh, there there is no transmission so if i were to just move my marker a bit more and just simply move around like this here as i can see as the frequency is going higher higher i'm uh, my 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 return loss is improving and I can just clearly see this dip that is so uh, based on the notes that I have uh, this was actually uh, this 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 lab old system was designed somewhere around uh, around 8 to 10 gigahertz so around 8.5 gigahertz you're getting about negative 44 dB and something like that so that's where the operational frequency of this uh, particular horn antenna is so based on the dips i can figure it out now the next thing is i can just uh, look, look at my display bring a diagram and add trace and diagram and i can bring in my swr so format swr uh, right here and let's change this major swr to s11 swr and let's uh, just uh, let me just put pictures side by side i guess uh, split okay something like this uh we'll split and uh, config uh wanna go config config what else i can go here we go now i can clearly see at uh, so i want this value swr value as we know we just put a marker select this put a marker there you want this value to be so 13 swr you don't want you want this swr to be what less than one 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 this is what you want you want your swr to be one so at about uh, seven gigahertz at about right here 1.5 which is good enough and so on so this is how the performance of your horn antenna looks like at 8.5 gigahertz you're getting somewhere around negative 55 that's where my cap is 
but I can just simply move my marker and at so at about these are my resonance point like from uh, from frequencies right here from 6.9 you're getting about negative 12 dB and all the way up to these are my resonance point for this particular horn antenna so if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel